welcome to my vlog. It's not a whole show, not a production, not me doing something for you out there. Just a moment, me today, where I am, who I am, you, where you are, who you are, and hopefully opening up a dialogue together to connect. Okay, that's the key. Dum boom. So some of you can go. Dum boom, diddly diddly, dum boom, diddly diddly, dum boom, diddly diddly, dum boom. Okay, and others of you can do. Bum bum billy, bum bum billy, bum bum billy, bum bum billy, bum bum. Okay, so dum bum billy, diddly, bum bum billy. When we start, and you'll know, we'll start it. And others of you, if you wish, can do the trumpet part. And so on. Yeah, okay. What is your favorite sketch you've done on YouTube? Says Robert S. Robert Stevenson. Gosh, I don't remember them all. <laughs> ah, my favorite of the moment. Um, what's popping into my head is Sean's favorite is Maxi Todd's. I love Maxi Todd's, so maybe we'll <laughs> we'll do that. Um, yeah, why Maxi Todd's? Because it shows a part of me that I hated in middle in high school or middle school or whatever that just that uh, that awkward part that doesn't know how to be in um, oh take the question yes duh there it is favorite oh you so are we are we British are we Canadian that's so cool I did have a voice class in in um, uh, at university when I was in Australia so I mean that was different because I was learning I was learning them as an Aussie so the vowels we were learning were not you know not the same vowels that we learned here in the States <laughs> for example a H and a W here are R and R and in Australia there are an all you know a W is all. Hi! <laughs> So, hi, what, what are your names? I know one of you is Jenna. I'm Jenna. Catherine. Okay. Catherine, welcome. And what's your question? God, um, when did you uh, know that you wanted to sing an act? Mm. Well, I grew up singing. My family is very musical, and I was probably singing in the womb <laughs> um, but the major I think the and I, and I was acting as well when I was young but I think the major performance for me a production for me that made me really feel it in my body and know oh this is what I need to do because it uses all the different parts of me it was a production called the passion mime which I'm actually directing this year um, and it was brought to us by a woman named Carol Hurt, and it's the story from the Last Supper to the Crucifixion. So it's a Bible story, but even though, um, whatever your religion is, it's a beautiful story. And yeah. it, yeah, and it, for me, <laughs> it, it, there were no words in it. <laughs> you guys are so cute. There were no words in it, but it was set to music. So it was really using your whole body and your face, and it was so, the power of that story got to me in a, in a new way that I'd never gotten just through words. And I was nine at the time, and it was an adult cast. For me, it's not about, okay, this is a scene where the, the character is sad, and I want to be able to cry in this scene at this point, so I will pinch myself, and that will really hurt, and it will make me cry, or I will think of my dog that died, and that will make me cry. It's more for me 
all it takes is for me because I've been working on it, expanding my ability to tap into the truth of myself and the universal truth and the truth of that moment is to just just really listen to and feel what the character is going through or what I'm going through in the moment and and then make myself flexible enough that if what needs to come out is tears they can come out if what needs to come out is laughter that can come out what drives us to do to do what we feel we have to do if it's go off to war if it's if it's stay is it love or is it fear hopefully it's love I don't know that's where I'm at that's where I'm at but I'm also glad we're connecting mmm we're connected in every way and all the things we do and say cast a shadow or light the way if you're feeling rejected you're not alone for there's a fire in your soul it speaks the truth you've always known forget perfection and pressure from peers and burn the collection of all your fears and from the ashes our love will rise like a phoenix in the clear blue skies this crimson bird that never dies will rise again we're connected and we can choose for every day begins anew the sun is shining now for you and you are reflected in every smile and every heart that you inspire feels the flame of your soul fire let's share the laughter welcome the tears and burn hereafter our ancient fears and from the ashes our love will rise like a phoenix in the clear blue sky this crimson bird that never dies will rise again So well. I want to thank Shant and Alex and Robert and Edward for today for helping out. Momo, Froda for introducing me to Coco, and most of all you. Here we go. Forget perfection and pressure from peers and burn the collection. Of all your fears And from the ashes Our love will rise Like a phoenix In the clear blue skies This crimson bird that never dies Will rise Again Film.com, which this is the theme song for. You can connect and create a film called Connected. Ready? Oh, wait.